Tomorrow morning, the women and children should gather what belongings they can carry and go to the woods. We're not going anywhere. I know you want to help. The women can't stay here. It's too dangerous. The women have as much right to fight for their lives as the men do. But none of you know how to fight. The more of us there are, the better chance we stand. This is your home. If you want to fight to defend it, that's your choice. I'd be honored to stand alongside you. Canaan attacks tomorrow. Canaan's brutal. He fights only to kill, which is why he will never defeat us. Look around. In this circle, we're all equals. You're not fighting because someone's ordering you to. You're fighting for so much more than that. You fight for your homes. You fight for your family. You fight for your friends. You fight for the right to grow crops in peace. And if you fall, you fall fighting for the noblest of causes. Fighting for your very right to survive. And when you're old and grey, you'll look back on this day and you'll know you weren't the right to live every day in between. So you fight for your family, for your friends. Free Aldor! Free Aldor! Free Aldor! Free Aldor. I'm sorry, Father, I failed you. The last Dragon Lord is dead. How many years would I might have wished for that news? All is not lost, Father. We have to fight the monster ourselves. So let us ride out and fight on our own terms. On open ground, on horseback, where we can maneuver better. There is no point. So what? We stand here, watch Camelot fall. You have my blessing. I need a dozen knights. Those who do not wish to fight can do so without stain on their character. For those brave enough to volunteer should know the chances of returning are slim. Here, come and join me. This table belonged to the ancient kings of Camelot. A round table afforded no one man more importance than any other. believed in equality in all things. So it seems fitting that we revive this tradition now. Without each of you, we would not be here. 
My father has languished in prison for too long. Tomorrow, I make my bid to rescue him. Are there any around this table who will join me? You taught me the values of being a knight. The code by which a man should live his life. To fight with honor for justice, freedom, and all that's good. I believe in the world that you will build. Even though I was a commoner, a nobody, you were willing to lay down your life for me, Arthur. It is now my turn to repay you. I have fought alongside you many times. There is no one that I would rather die for. I think we've no chance. But I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Your enemies are my enemies. If you need an old man, Fancy it. You don't have a choice, man. Okay. I want to thank you all for staying loyal to me in Camelot's hour of need. I'll do something that my father won't approve of. Sir Lancelot, Knight of Camelot. Arise, Sir Gawain, Knight of Camelot. Arise, Sir Percival, Knight of Camelot. Arise, Sir Elian, Knight of Camelot. Tomorrow when you fight, you can stand proud. Knowing you are members of the most noble army the world has ever known.